Mini Bay in the back. The change in phase from a paramedic to a combat medic is a whole world of different. One, you're saving life in urban area. When you're being a combat medic, you're taking casualty from the field, not one. There can be as many as five casualties itself. While many people may stereotype medics to be a simple and not so tough vocation as compared to say guards or commandos, but what we are training here are actually combat medics. So what we need them to do is to be able to rescue casualties in the battlefield. So because of this, the summary exercise and our combat phase is aimed at two different things. First point would be to raise their physical, physical level, and second thing would be to train them in the actual skills when it comes to rescuing people. Hey, here, here. What happened? What happened? Sir, sir, Anna, are you okay? What happened to casualty? This has been quite a hectic week, I would say, for most of the trainees and even the instructors. I guess what they're trying to do is to simulate the stressful environment so that they can train us to be competent and efficient medics. Minimize movement, you're shaking the leg, I don't know why. Yes, yes, I. Go away, go away, go away! For two medics, company medics, all come forward, CSM come forward. This is a casualty collection point, not company collection point. They need somebody to re -op, go up, one, go to one side and re -op. I don't want to see casualty put down on the floor already, all the recommend all that. Become Rambo. Then my medic no place to work. This is where you manage your casualty. This is not where you build your home company. Be very clear on that. You must manage the area. How what do you do? You your your report to him. Report of strength. Start to move. Move the left side. Hey, did you take it off? What the hell are you doing? You better do a proper triad! Oh, f*** your bloody f***! Come team medic! Stay your status! Okay, we got three hit. Put up! We got three severe. Two intermediate. Two medium, intermediate. Medic! One thing about the past few weeks, what you taught me, one, to be fast. Second is to always communicate with anybody around you, from rifleman all the way until your sergeant major. It's always important. <laughs> Lastly, documentation whether in paramedicine or being a combat medic itself. Documentation is always important. Inside, all the way inside, all the way inside. All the way inside. All the way inside. Okay, master, okay? GCS level 3. Pulse rate 15. Ah, oh, then everything put near the wound there. Can you do properly? Wake up, man! Okay, that's why just now these two casualties are wasting so much time because you're waiting for ammo. As company medics, you're under great pressure. The surrounding is so chaotic. With this, how are you going to treat? Are you going to give up as a medic? No. We learn how to control the stress, keep calm, compose, treat the casualty, and succeed in the mission. The entire VCS is going to evacuate already. Hurry up, guys. Ah, uh, referee, come in. The cadets that we are training here, they are going to be future specialists. They are going to be in charge of men. And in this situation, they are going to be working in places like the battalion casualty station. So uh, they have to be able to lead their men, as well as they have to be able to do the basic role of a medic in addition to that. Okay, come on, let's go, come on, let's evac, come on, evac, 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 evac. In summary exercise, all of us get to exchange roles, which is the most important point because from Experiencing the different roles, we know what to do when we have that kind of position outfield. The company medic, the platoon medics, the MOIC and the senior medic especially, we'll get them to share what they experienced, the mistakes that they did, the things that they did well, the things that cock up in the end. So all these things we'll gather, we'll share with the friends because not all of us get to do each and every role. So we'll share. By sharing, we learn the roles and responsibilities of medic specialists. How's your feeling now? Sure? Yes, sir. When we know every role, it's very simple and the flow of the whole process will be very, very easy and also very fast. Are you guys ready for the mission? Yes, sir. 
everything is quite a blur because you've got adrenaline pumping through you and all that. It's the only IV session where we did in outfield where we had to lap across a distance towards the casualty. I'm grateful that I got to see the vein properly even though I was painting quite hard. The very, very memorable thing is that just this IV, right after the IV where my CSI pleased me. My CSI, uh, how to say, he, he's not stressing me, but he's very strict. So whenever I see him, I get stressed. But after this IV, you know, I told him, CSI, whenever you come, I get stressed. But he told me, since I'm going to pass out, he told me that, you know, uh, I mean, if I never stress you, if you cannot perform well under stress, how can you be outstanding? He said that to me and I felt very good. I felt I had the satisfaction and that was very, very memorable for me. Always don't lose your courage. Always keep it up. Your soldiery skills as well as your leadership in your medical knowledge. I always emphasize when you wear this armband, this red armband, you take charge. You command the team. After 13 weeks of learning medical stuff, I felt that it's really, really very useful. It really can be applied both not only in the SAF and in the real world. And being trained by our instructors who are themselves well trained, I'm able to grasp a lot of medical concepts and treatments which I can apply as a paramedic level too. With this, I'm confident of imparting this knowledge to my men in the future, which should benefit not only the army but also the society in the long run. As a whole, we work very hard for it and compared to the first day, I think we have improved significantly. So, of course, I'm looking forward to the parade itself. I think it'll be quite a noteworthy moment in my NS journey. So, I'm looking forward to it and looking forward to spending the time after that with my family and enjoying my weekend. <laughs> I've been waiting for this day since the start when I just enlisted. My morale is really boosted up for the parade. I really can't wait to just get on the parade, do it well and then just pass out as a third sergeant. I'm looking forward to what the future holds for me.